So, Notion is mostly an app to build really pretty dashboards with cute graphics and nice anime style illustrations, right? Wrong. Here's what happens if a Notion nerd like me goes absolutely crazy and tries to push Notion to the limits. And now you can do the same. Have fun. To make this easier to follow and to help you push the boundaries of Notion yourself, I've separated this video into three steps. First, concept and draft. Second, building the back end. And last but not least, building the front end. But first, let's actually have a look at how the end result looks like. Specifically, is limit testing Notion for project management. You already have these really advanced analytics that turn Notion from this simple note-taking tool into a personal assistant that can compete with enterprise-level software, project management, like the high-level tasks, documents. You can even <laughs> create invoices, uh, write in Notion and generate PDFs based on them and like calculate all your earnings if that's what you want to do. First things first, concept. If you want to build a really powerful Notion workspace, you need to make sure that you have an underlying system or design philosophy, something like GTD or Second Brain or a similar methodology that you orient yourself in and that you really know where you're going with the build. So what I recommend doing is that once you have an idea, you start to visualize it first. And I do it usually in two ways. First, I use my iPad to just sketch out the general idea and then a very, very simple UI and then I go to Whimsical or a similar flowchart app. And in there, I try to outline like how are the databases connected? Because as you will see, databases build the core of every really advanced Notion setup. And that can get quite overwhelming very quickly. So you want to make sure that before you start, you know exactly what you're going to build. Once you have the concept ready, it's time to build the backend. Just quickly, what's actually the backend and what's the front end? Well, if you look at Notion, Backend is the basis of your template or your workspace. It's the brain of everything, and that means it's mostly databases. Whereas front end is the way you interact with your dashboard or with your setup. So that would be the specific pages and dashboards that you build on top of these databases. When it comes to building your backend, there are really two rules that you want to follow. First, always build a backend first because it's the most complex part and will make or break your system. You can always tingle with other things and adapt them later on, but the backend, that one needs to fit. And second, if you think about how many databases should you use, I would always advise to use as few as possible, right? The only reason that you move information out of one database and create a second is when it really doesn't fit in the first one anymore and you need to create a lot of redundant properties otherwise. So when you're building out your backend, how can you push Notion to the limits and turn your setup from a pretty okay one to a really, really advanced one, formulas. Don't be afraid, Notion formulas are a super, super powerful way to upgrade your workspace. I have also a complete tutorial for you if you want to check that out here. And really, it makes it a lot easier to do really complex things in Notion. Now, there are two big types of formulas that you wanna use in your workspace. One are data analysis formulas, and one are displays formulas. Let me show you what I mean. Here we are in the project database, and first, let's look at an analytics formula. Here are two examples, right? We have one for completed tasks. And what does it do? Well, it checks all tasks for these, uh, this project and then it calculates based on the open tasks what our completion rate is. Another example would be here, days remaining, where we take the end day and the current date and calculate, well, how many days do we have left until the end of this project? These formulas are great because they can help you make a lot more sense of your template and the information that you have in there and really, really unlock new use cases. Because based on these formulas, you can then set views, right? So in your link views, you could, for example, have a filter that says, well, show it to me if the time remaining is below seven days, right? So you want to think always of a connection between these analytics formulas and how you can use them elsewhere in your workspace to display information. Well, the easiest display one is, of course, something like a progress bar. Notion has built-in progress bars now, but the options, they are fairly limited. So if you want to have more granular control, like showing the percent rounded, uh, you need to go this route. Or another super powerful thing for your analytics pages later, you can combine statements with information from your formulas, right? Like a number, like 50%. If you just displayed it somewhere, you don't know what this is going to mean. But you can simply go in here and use the, like a few if statements if you want to, but mainly this concat uh, 
uh, formula to combine uh, a statement that gives you like the information about the number and then the actual number. So that's what I mean with a display formula. It's a formula that takes the information from probably an analytics formula and displays it in a more readable contextualized way. Now that the core of your Notion setup is ready, let's move on to the next part, the front end. And when it comes to your front end, a great Notion workspace has always three elements, a command center, specific workflows, and navigation. Let's start with the simplest first, navigation. For that, a quick question. Why is Notion so much better than note-taking tools of the first generation like Evernote or OneNote? Well, it's because you're not confined to the specific UI that the designer of that tool thought of. Sure, Notion comes with built-in navigation. You can use the sidebar or you can press Command-P and bring up the search bar. But you can build your own navigation into Notion just the way you need it. There are mainly three ways how you can do that. First, ribbon navigation, right? Super simple, you can add colors and emojis and then with just a click of the button, you jump to the next section. Second, you can use this sidebar layout, right? Very nice, you can also put it in a callout if you want or, which I usually recommend, put it into a synced block and then have it on all pages because that way if you have it in a synced block, if you make a change in one place, it reflects everywhere so it's much easier to keep your navigation up to date. And third, this template uses the perspective method, an uh, amazing way to lay out your Notion template. You uh, have like this advanced uh, combination of both the sidebar and like your main content area. If you want to learn more about it, I have a link in the description. Next up, workflows. Workflows are really how you actually interact with your setup for the most time and the actual things that you do with it. So, for example, with this project management template, that mainly means setting up and designing new projects, working on the day-to-day -day tasks, and last but not least, making sure that all your documents are organized. So here's a sample workflow from the project management template. A key workflow here is of course setting up new projects and this template has the super unique feature that you can create recurring projects, which without this workaround are not possible in Notion. For set up your pro recurring project, you have a lot of different steps and below the individual steps, you then have always the, a linked view of the database that just shows the relevant information. Now, you could of course just go into your backend and do the data entry there, but that's a lot more complex, you're a lot more likely to do errors and creates a lot more noise. Here's a second example of how you can create a workflow specifically to create invoices in Notion. Now, if you were to do this via the databases, you would need to go into four different databases for this specific use case because you have your customers, you have your products, you have the invoices, and then you have your own banking details. And that would just be a lot of effort, but you can go ahead, right? And again, it's only a little bit of text, a little bit of outlying the page, and then link databases. Last but not least, the command center. The command center is sort of the landing page of your setup, the first thing you always open. And it's really crucial that everything really works here well together to push Notion to the limit. Generally speaking, you want to make sure that you have three things on your command center. First, up top, you have your navigation. You have the ribbon navigation, right? And you can simply go to all the relevant workflows with just the click of a button. Second, you want to have some sort of analytics on this page that at one glance show you everything you need to know about your current setup and like the specific things you care about without having to go deep into your setup. It will show you how many projects you have opened, how many have ended this week, how many are overdue. You see your average progress for the individual projects. You see your earning stats. You can see your deadlines and tasks for today, right? And these are fully customizable. At the back end, all it is is a combination of data formulas and display formulas. Now, if you want to learn yourself how to build these analytics, I have a very detailed tutorial in the video description. And third, we have here the quintessential action, right? For a project management template, that's the project. So you have an overview over your projects, even uh, or like either in the more minimal view or with more analytics where it shows you everything you need to know. And from here, right, you can just click on the project and you can jump right into editing it with the local workflow here. One mistake that I see a lot of people do with the dashboards is that they try to cram too much information into one place. Now, that makes for great screenshots if you're planning on sharing a template on social media, but if you plan to use it every day, really try to minimize the amount of stuff that's going on and instead build dedicated workflow pages. But now I have a confession. This template is quite advanced, 
but it's far from really pushing Notion's limits. You can go a lot further. But it's a great example of just what you can do if you follow a few simple concepts. You can really elevate your workspace. And for even more complex things, make sure to follow this channel because I've got a lot more.